my love. Hang back here with me a while, away from the others. I must ask you something, privately. What do you think of Quail? Okay, that's a really random question. Uh, he's important to you, Ellie. That means he's important to me. No, I mean the name. What do you think of Quail as a name for a child, a boy? Uh, is there something you're trying to tell me, my love? I'm pregnant. Chin, isn't it wonderful? Uh, 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 what? <laughs> how? Well, I guess I know how, but what? Uh, um. Uh. Yes, that's number one, the most realistic option. Um, hopefully she doesn't take it too badly, though. Pregnant? I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what to say. I realize this is not the best timing, but there are many months before a child will be born. And I, oh, Jin, I can see by your face that you're still a little overwhelmed by all of this. P please, don't tell the others, not yet. This joyous news is for you and me alone right now. I'll, I'll give you some time to let, the new, let this news settle in before we discuss our future plans. Hurry, let's catch up with the others before they get suspicious. Okay. Nature has many children called the I guess we have to complete the quest in nine I months. <laughs> or uh, we have a baby what around the place. It shall be. These are uh, surprisingly well equipped mercenaries. Just one male armor. Give us two minutes. Just a normal helmet, I think. Chain mail plus three and Okay. Yes. Now we were heading to the tavern before that. Before that. What the? What happened now? Your monastery once cared for this town, but under Balthazar, you have abandoned us. The people are starving, and your master does nothing. There's a pri pri uh, priest of Joaquin, and I'm guessing that's a monk. Balthazar is concerned with greater matters, old man. Bah! He is gathering mercenaries and wizards for an army. How is this more important than bringing in food for the starving children? You have no idea of the events that the monastery has set in motion. Go back to your prayers and leave me alone. No! This is too important! In the name of Joaquin, I demand a meeting with Balthazar. He must be made to see the insanity of his callous actions. You make no demands of me or the monastery. Balthazar cares nothing about this pathetic town. Go beg your dead god to feed these people. Okay. These are not the uh, benevolent monks of a uh, typical lord. Blasphemer! I will stand for your monastery's tyranny no longer. You dare attack me, old man? Your death shall be quick and painful. Oh. I feel like Jin should intervene, but that may uh, be a bad idea in the middle of a town run by these monks. Okay. Um, you need something? Well, let's uh, take a gamble faster here. Than take Hopefully, a fast we don't lose concentration by doing this. Something up? Uh, Time to move. Magic missile. What is my task? 
I hear you well enough. <sighs> Very well. You point, I punch. Stand oh, back for justice! You are a lot yep. more than me. Um. I should have tried to charm him. <laughs> he survived his barrage of magic missiles. Barely injured. Bloody hell. Sorcy, battle bow! Run, bow, run! Charm person. Yes. And. Ring of human influence. It doesn't seem to be working. He's got a lot of magic resistance. At your order. You don't have to kill him. The light shall prevail. Prince and Boo stand ready. Make great fun. <laughs> nope. Um. Ready and willing. Good to go. On my honor. By all that is decent, I fight! Oh dear. Cease this at once. You dare to raise your hand to an emissary of the monastery. He was attacking an old man. I had to step in. Father Sar, I cannot be bothered with such petty matters as these, so I'll let you off with a warning. In the future, do not involve yourself in the business of Balthazar or his monks. Okay. Your tidings abound. I thank you for your intervention. I fear the monk would have killed me had you not stepped in. Um, I wish there was more I could have done to help. I was wrong to let my temper get the better of me, but I cannot just sit idly by while people starve. Why can't you buy, just buy the food uh, for them yourself? The church has spent all of its coin to buy food for the poor. We have nothing now. Okay, I guess uh, as much as Jenny is the goal, these people obviously need it more. Thank you, kind sir. You're most generous. I will tell everyone of your kindness. I must use this money to buy food for the poor right away. Okay. Oh, please take this ring. Okay. Gain an item and one experience. What is this ring? Check it out, anyone? Oh, okay. They have their uh, identify score. Open ring. Uh, <laughs> usable only by druids, but doesn't seem to have any. Uh, doesn't seem to have any magical properties. Okay, well, give it to Shakira. Now I remember why traveling with you was always so much what fun. What do you require? Consider it done. Verily. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. Okay, we're gonna be interrupted again whilst on the way to the tavern. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! Uh, is this the tavern? To the roof. If I just I will do walk into somebody's so home by accident. Oh yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Well, unless actually, I will get to the tavern. Um, is this yes. the tavern? Do 
No, I just realized. I wonder if Aries' uh, fatigue is due to pregnancy. Who are they? Mercenary, mercenary, and Asana Harad. I'm not who that is. Yes. Very Try and deal with them uh, after some rest. Good day to you. Excuse me, I I do not mean to be rude, but you are one of the strangers that all the locals have been talking about, aren't you? An adventurer from the north. Yes, yes, of course you are. Anyone can see that you are an extraordinary man. Please forgive me. It is very fortunate that such a powerful person such as yourself has come to this remote town. I thought I. Um, and Catherine would be remote enough so that no one would find me here, but I was wrong. I would not bother you, stranger, but I am in terrible peril. I need your aid. I beg you for a boon, my lord, or I and my daughter shall both shall surely perish. What kind of peril are you talking about? I cannot speak of more of this here. Please come to my home on top of the cliff, my lord, I beg you. We can speak freely there. Yeah, Chin is slightly concerned this could be a trap, but um we'll give the man the benefit of the doubt. Very well, where's the home of yours? It's probably the East Cliff, my lord. Simple dwelling, but safe for the moment. My name is Marlowe. Please meet me there and I shall explain everything, I swear. Okay. Um, what is my task? Done. We'll speak with the other patrons in here in a moment. Guessing these are soldiers being recruited by the monastic order here. On my honor, as you I ask. got some cheap beer for you. Um. Do you and other soldiers of Rahad that are good bothers are called for? No, I'm not. No, it's not often that we get travelers passing through M. Catherine, especially in these times. Welcome to Zephyr. Uh, welcome to Zephyr, then, my good man. Zaki Rafin. Rafiha Rafaha. At your service. Zephyr. So I think now we're even south, even uh, south of Heavier. Um, yes, you would like to ask him some questions? Certainly, certainly. I'm not so overcome business that I cannot, over, uh, cannot answer a few clear queries now and then. Um, what can you tell me about this Balbazar? Balbazar is the leader of the monastic order within the fortress and has been for quite some time. He is not overly popular, as I'm sure you're well aware. Perhaps. The monks have been always been supportive of Amkethrin, providing guidance when it was necessary, and even protection from the creatures that sometimes come out of the Kalim Desert. We have always been grateful for their presence. They and the smugglers who bring us supplies to live. Since Balthazar assumed leadership of the Order, however, nothing has been the same. The Order ignores us. They apply restrictions on the smugglers, and have even killed some. Restricting supplies... Uh, just restricting the supplies the village can be bought, brought. There are all the mercenaries, and then there are all the mercenaries. It is to be expected, I suppose. Many say that Balthazar is one of the terrible spawn of the dead god Baal. He prepares for war, no doubt, and we pray, we simply pray that this war does not come to the Amkethrin. Balthazar is a Bowsborn. So it is said, he was brought here long ago by the mage, Melisande, who protects him, with fear that the old tales of destruction brought by, cho by the children of Baal may come true after all. Okay, what do you know about Melisande? Melisande is the protector of all Ch Baal's children, it is said, just as Elminster protects those who harp. Why such a mage would protect Godspawn, who only bring terror and destruction, I do not know. Nor does anyone, obviously he doesn't have a clue that Jin and uh, Imun are also Baal's I know little else of her, however. 
No one has told me of seeing Melisande, the mage, for many months now. That doesn't quite tarry with what Balthasar just said when we met him. Um, what about Sendai? Hmm, I may indeed have heard such a name, dear man. A few of the mercenaries that passed through Zephyr so often whispered it more than once, always with great fear. Sendai is a drow, okay. A dark elf, or so I understand. They say that Balthazar is mobilizing his army to attack her, and that they fear the den denizens of the Underdog. That such an attack would. Oh, and that they fear the den denizens of the Underdog, that such an attack would bring them face to face with. Some have said that she's a powerful Bowsborn and an assassin. A few, uh, a few seem sure she lives beneath the earth like all drow. I do not know much more than this, however. Abba is a girl? I've heard of that name, I'm sure. Is that a person? I'm not sure. There was a group of captains in here once before, and they were talking about, they were talking in hushed tones about an army of dragons. That sounds, uh, horrible. Um. I believe it was during their talk that this name of yours came up. Thought at the time that it was the name of the mountains that this army was supposed to be in. Um, though I never heard of such a range. The thought of fighting dragons is a sobering one. If Balthazar was planning on battling such creatures with his army, he, well, I would wonder at his state of mind perhaps. Okay. There's little to say. The Order built their fortress in this remote place long ago. It said that they are, they are an ancient order of warriors that once fought for an ancient Shah and were exiled when he was murdered. The village grew up around the fortress, depending on their goodwill and guidance, which was received in abundance, at least that is, until Balthazar became their leader. Now we are strangers. How do one get inside this fortress? I think Jin is quite keen to find out what's happening in there. I do not know. Balthasar sees no one, and has not for months. The gates are well guarded, and even protected by spells placed by Balthasar's hired sorcerers. To force entry would be foolish. That the front gate isn't the only one, the only way in Jin. Even Cannon Keeper has had some hidden back doors. Okay, so we will have to allow an emblem for that. Uh, perhaps the smugglers know of a way in. It's hard to say. Word carries of uh, word carries of boasts by a few of them that they've stolen into the fortress secretly, for acts of thievery. This may be nothing more than idle tales, however. Alright. What are the uh, mercenaries for? I can tell you that. Kasadi? I'm guessing that's a term of endearment, maybe. Then I would, uh, I would know far more than the goings of this world than I would like. I hear, oh, sorry. I hear stories occasionally from mercenaries when they come here and they frighten me. I have heard of great wars and destructions in the lands beyond the desert. And while the Order has never involved itself in such things before, it seems Balthazar has changed things. He plans a war, a great and terrible war. I do not know if against whom. What about Marlowe? Only a little. He's a stranger to Aunt Catherine. Arrived only a, only weeks ago. I do not believe he intended to remain. Indeed, I suspect he has been travelling for some time, but his daughter fell ill, and so I hear. He's been a little crazed. He blames his daughter's illness upon the undead creatures that are said to have arisen in our graveyard cavern. My poor soul, he drinks too much. But it seems to do him little good. Oh, poor so he drinks much, but okay. Alright, let's uh, see what services he has. Um, we'll sell that. Sell the Ravager and the Lord of Smiting.
some scrolls that I don't think we'll need. Okay, now what does he have to sell? Um, surprisingly low level equipment for uh, where we are. Okay, it's basically nothing. <clears throat> Um, I think rest in a, a tavern for the first time in a, well, a very long time, actually. Okay. Um, I think what we'll do then is start speaking to a couple of the patrons what do you here. Require? No, it's just a generic mage. Customer. It shall be. See if there's anyone in there. Layla. I think she's a serving girl. I hope our establishment's to your liking. <laughs> Keep your hands and smart remarks yourself. The zephyrs were washing out the desert out of. The zephyrs were watching the desert out of your throat and taking the weariness out of tired bones. That's all. Oh, I think that's the name of this um, tavern. I think she misunderstood Jim <laughs> in uh, his intentions. Let me speak to the mage. You seem a learned type. Are you part of the twisted rune hired? What? Are you part of the twisted rune hired by Balbazar? I don't recognize you. That's interesting. <laughs> Balbazar is apparently related to the twisted rune. Um, which was an, an alternate dimension that Jin accidentally stumbled upon in, I think it was the bridge district of that catalog, but teleported to um, the Twisted Rune headquarters where uh, he had to fight a, a, a leech and a uh, beholder, amongst other things. Spalvazar certainly doesn't seem quite a uh, Something seems um, quite a complicated fellow. Yes. Worth investigating. Um, okay. Uh, it's Malo's home. I'm gonna visit the um, Smithy and the Arcana archives. Just get an idea of uh, the stuff that they have. How do I uh, get to the Arcana Archives? This place is kind of confusing. Consider it done. Please, please spare me. I beg you. Okay, Asana Harad. Saving wench! Begging won't save you now! We will make a harsh example of you. And maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? Oh, he's apparently the mayor. People are starving. Food is scarce. Hassana needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. They obviously Jin cannot stand by here. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Hush, Father. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. No, this is not right. Sana has done nothing wrong. You there, stranger. You're surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? Yeah, such an injustice, uh, such an injustice as this must not go unchallenged. Thank you. 
I fear those mercenaries will execute us right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Please hurry. Um. What is it now? Long live what the is order of the most radiant heart. For I draw Do from I the pool of light you. and strike in their name. This does not concern you, stranger. Move along. I will not permit you to murder this girl. This woman is a thief and she will pay for her crimes. She stole to feed a bunch of starving children. Justifiable, if you ask me. We are guests in this town, and the daughter of the mayor dares to take our gold. This is an insult which must be repaid in blood. Now stand aside and let justice prevail or face the consequences. I will not stand aside. Good. I was worried our fighting skills might were getting um getting a might rusty. Okay. Um Every hamster has his day. Little strike. I shall go forth at your command. Um, get Very well. Don't imagine they'll be particularly dangerous. Many meteors. I'll help however I can. Be sure these guys are evil. Holy smites. I am ready. I thought as much. On my honor. Um. What do you require? I await your word. Armor, shot bad, cooking for goodness. They could always move away from the mercenary, but we will be okay. May I be of service? Thank you, my lord. I cannot truly repay you for saving my life, but my mother might have some small reward for you. Please excuse me now. This has been most upsetting. Okay. Yes, it shall be. My daughter owes you her life. I wish I had more to give. But I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of them, Catherine, how you saved my beloved Asana. Okay. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. One to Leo's cloak. I think we already have the clasp. Cloak of the man who trained Drizzt at Erden. Okay. Um. What is my task? Consider it done. Why is everyone going to the tavern? I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought. Yeah, I think such we came here possible. at night, so there's probably less people. Um, on my honor around the now uh, we are all heroes you and boo and I hamsters and rangers everywhere Rejoice! You know what? I think in order to get to the uh... how do you get to the arcana archives here I you hope need... this is not a side need of to go to through the roof try after to all. maintain balance. Why traveling with you was always yeah, so much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here and then up there. Maybe down there. Uh, I will do roof. my best. Um, yes. 